meet. So we're, the first thing we got to figure out is are we heading south or north from Tacloban? We think it's south. So we're just waiting for our flight. This is one of the nervous uh, parts of these trips is just uh, hoping that the flight isn't delayed or cancelled. Uh, we're due to get into Tacloban around one o'clock and then hopefully that'll give us two or three hours of daylight to recce areas of the coast which are likely to get hit by the typhoon. So here's our car, we've met up with our driver, Eddie. Hey Eddie, how are you? Yes, good to meet you. Um, good, good vehicle, this could well be our home for a while. And uh, right now, just trying to get some data, do some wrecking and uh, work out what our next plan is. I've got a pretty good connection. So we're just driving to pick up supplies now, lots of uh, water, basically to keep us going for four or five days if we get stranded somewhere and uh, food supplies as well. Very important part of this whole job is to make sure that we are sufficiently supplied in case of a worst case scenario. So we've just stocked up on enough supplies, food and water to hopefully keep us going for uh, a week if the worst comes to the worst and we are stranded somewhere by ourselves. Um, lots of water, lots of food, fruit, stuff to keep us going. Uh, a basic precaution when you're putting yourself in the path of a Category 5 Typhoon. So we're um, just doing a little bit of a recce. Um, really, really vulnerable coastal communities here and it looks like some people are going to be riding out the storm here and I fear that if they do, this could be totally washed away by storm surge and blown away by the wind and there could be serious fatalities. I, I've, I've never seen that a makes... tropical cyclone that looks like this. And uh, I don't know, that just, I don't know if the buildings around here are sub substantive The, the mall enough. is the only one that's... I mean, that, that is insane. First of all, the cloud tops are extremely cold, although there's dark gray. Secondly, they're almost like perfectly symmetrically distributed around that center. I mean, that, I've never seen this before. And we're in the path of the thing. And we're in the path of this. We're in the path of that core. And that eye is big enough that I think that this whole area is basically going to be in the core. I think everywhere from Tacloban way down to Mallorca, I think is basically going to be getting eye wall core conditions. This is like really serious stuff. We, we shouldn't be here. We certainly can't be staying at this hotel anymore. We obviously we've got to tonight. If that comes on like that, this whole town is going to get flattened. And now, I'm honestly thinking, we're not chasing the storm; it's chasing us. And we've got to start thinking that way. We are going to be in the storm, and we now have to move more to Protect survival ourselves. mode yeah. than to. Um, chasing it. We're going to get it. And we've, none of us have ever seen anything like this before. And there's going to be many, many, many people in serious situations. And we have got to record everything we can. Absolutely, 100%. But we also have to look at, we're in a very, very dangerous situation. Well, we've just been looking at the latest uh, infrared satellite imagery of uh, Super Typhoon Haiyan, and it's basically off the scale. Storms do not get any stronger than this, and it's um, and that's no exaggeration. Uh, we're getting a lot of messages from uh, professional meteorologists saying uh, that the storm is uh, some estimates are up to 155 knots stronger. So it's it's basically as uh, human interactions with these kind of storms go, very rare and more more or less unprecedented for us. So we are. You can tell from my voice, slightly freaked out, but we uh, are going to be getting up early tomorrow and trying to work out what the hell we're going to do because primarily we've got to keep ourselves safe and um, and then deal with what is going to be an unfolding uh, human catastrophe as well. So, well, we've been uh, we've been trying to sort of figure out where on the coast we need to be to get uh, in the center of this storm. That having been said, it's so severe that we're. That's affecting our uh, ideas about where to, where to go for this because uh, there's some places along the coast that there, there just isn't anywhere uh, 
sort of stable and strong enough to ride this out. 39 kilometers per hour, this wind. Your market is expected to increase the size of the summer around 5 p.m. Friday. And it's looking like the storm is going to pass very, very close to Tackleban City. JTWC have just increased the intensity to 170 knots, which is uh, you know, almost record breaking. This is one of the strongest tropical cyclones ever observed, uh, you know, in modern times. Uh, uncharted territory for, for us as, as storm chasers trying to document these things. So uh, obviously I'm feeling slightly antsy and anxious right now, uh, bordering on pretty freaked out, but got to keep a cool head and tackle the storm as safely as possible. Well, it's really just a matter of playing the waiting game now. Uh, the winds are creeping up ever so slightly. Uh, there's moderate rain falling. Really, other than that, there's not really obvious signs that there's one of the strongest super typhoons ever observed uh, is barreling towards this city. Absolutely crucial development for us. It's starting to get light, which is absolutely imperative for us to be able to film what is going to be just a jaw-dropping typhoon. Uh, I was just very, very fortunate that we're going to be able to catch this in daylight. And we are about an hour and a half away from the peak mad ferocity of this typhoon. Well, the winter is starting to pick up now and it feels like there is a typhoon. Well, the winds are really starting to escalate here in Tacloban. Strong gusts. The power's been knocked out. Uh, tree branches are been flying through the air, uh, and we're still about an hour away from the worst of this typhoon. It's really, really going to hammer this city hard. Oh, okay.
was a large piece of sheet metal just crashing uh, beyond the area where I'm sheltering. Uh, I've got cover above my head for exactly that reason. Large pieces of debris flying everywhere. storm surge starting to flood the uh, ground floor of the hotel. Residents are evacuating up to the uh, second floor. Wow, current strong. I, I had to go out and help people across the street. Oh really? Got, no, it was awful. These Whoa. children were screaming. What's that for electricity?
Got you. You're okay, you're safe. You're safe, don't worry. You're fine now, you're safe. Well, I'm up on the roof of the hotel, the, uh, the back end of the typhoon uh, is basically easing off now. It still looks pretty severe, but the roof has just been totally gutted. Unbelievable, this city got raked by a really intense super typhoon. Frightening, frightening winds. I've never seen winds so bad. Uh, and uh, just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, the storm surge swept into downtown, uh, trapped people on the lower floor of this hotel. People were desperately breaking windows, trying to uh, get out of the rooms they were trapped in, and we had to go out, out there with mattresses and rescue people. It was absolutely traumatizing. Uh, screaming children, uh, upset parents, it was, it was really something. I'm glad everyone's okay. This is the state of our hotel room. It just basically got inundated with uh, rainwater being driven at about 120 miles an hour. What the hell was It was high already. Yeah, yeah, I didn't open the door. It wouldn't open. It wouldn't open. I kick it. It won't open. Shit. And then I look around. I saw glass. Sliding glass. I tried to open it. It yeah. open yeah. also. The lamp. Yeah. I got the lamp, the base, and I broke it. Wow. And then my wife was panicking. Help! Help! I could get out for it because the glass is still yeah. hanging and we have to get it. My daughter was crying. Yeah, yeah. Papa, the water is high already. I know, I know. So I, I put some bag on, three bags a bit, and I carry my daughter. Yeah. And then, you, uh, I don't yeah. know if it was you who came back. No. We were really, really, we <laughs> would have accepted our fate if we could not have gotten out. Oh we will drown inside the room. No, you, we. You have it, and I thank the Lord for that. You, you looked after your family well. Mm. You did well. So no thank yous. That's fine. Yeah, uh, without your help. No, 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 it's okay. I have family too. And I'm sorry for that also. No, 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 okay. It's good, really. You're a good, good father. A good father.
husband is so by me. Yeah. Yo, oh. Almost like a tsunami hit this area. Uh, unfortunately, they are pulling bodies out of the rubble behind me. Uh, seen at least two so far in the last uh, half an hour, and people are, are just sifting through the debris, trying to retrieve whatever remains uh, and belongings they can uh, they can find. It's, uh, it's truly, truly devastated this community. As um, uh, 11 o'clock, uh, we loaded already three dead, dead uh, four dead bodies. Two ladies and, uh, and uh, four, two female and two male and one baby also. So it, it counts of five. I don't know there inside at, at this height. I think there are more, much more dead bodies there. Someone's yelling, it's probably not at us, but... So we got some looting going on at a drugstore there, by the looks of it. Uh, people are starting to get pretty desperate, it would seem. Um, as you, yeah, you can see, we're just uh, basically heading back to the, the hotel to meet Marv. Um, this town is suffering very badly. Where the helicopters are landing not exactly sure what they're doing um, in terms of ferrying in aid or getting people out but this is an area of obviously a hub of military activity which suggests it should be relatively secure uh, there's communications up here which is which is uh, a promising uh, development so. so we're not exactly sure what's going on basically we put our names down on a list a mysterious list which hopefully means uh, we can get on an aeroplane. We're following General, a very senior guy in the Philippines Air Force, um, to a landing pad.
a hotel, work on the footage and just uh, get it out there. Um, we're feeling mighty relieved to have been able to get on a flight. Um, going through some complex emotions right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And good luck. Thank you. All the best. Mark needs to get to a hospital.